Wichita. We're known for being a crossroads for the center of the country. Small town, big city problems. All right, ladies, secure your doors at all times when you come out of your room. I've been in here so many times. I've seen so many different fights. We put the most violent people that you had to take out of society in a pot and you expect them to be peaceful. Break it up! Break it up! such thing as a fair fight in here. Throw coffee in their face. Just another fight. Just another day. When that bullet left that gun, you smell the gunpowder. You see what you've actually done. <sighs> I have no emotion. Selling drugs, selling girls, collecting money that's owed to me. I'll kick in your door, take everything you have from the shampoo and conditioner in your bathroom to the toilet paper off the roll in your cabinet. I walk up in the hospital and my legs still were gone. I do everything. If I play basketball to swim, to fight, I do all kinds of stuff. <laughs> David Kendall's case is a little bit more personal to us in the jail because he was one of our guys in the jail. There was an incident where I was the only deputy in there and I come to his room and he's naked and inviting me in. We actually had sex. Like what? No, not where I work. Not him. Oh yeah, religion is a very, very big thing here. Any jury is not going to find me guilty. My only witness is my victim. If there's chow trays out, he's going to act out. Once he gets it, he's going to eat the food. See, now he thinks they're coming in to get this food, so he's going to start licking and eating everything he can eat. Right now, she's in crisis mode. She just got sentenced to prison. You're a big girl, remember? You cut him up. Accept what you did. 50 years to life. I lost everything. Friends, a chance at life, maybe sometime having kids. I lost all that. I just let a lot of people down. I made the mistake. I made the choices. Mm -hmm.